was temporarily closed earlier this year due to meth contamination in the restroom. News 5's Andy Cohen tells us more about the remodeling project, including some safety improvements that are already in place in all Pueblo libraries. If you've borrowed any books or videos from the Barkman Library in Pueblo, make sure to return them soon. So starting on August 1st, we will be closing the Barkman branch so that we can start a renovation and expansion of this facility. The $4.2 million renovation project is part of the library's 10-year facilities improvement plan. Construction will expand the entrance and community room as well as improve accessibility. The renovation piece will reimagine the inside of the library um, in a way that we're able to create some concerted or designated spaces. So we have a designated children's area, a designated maker space, designated quiet reading areas. Library Foundation Executive Director Nick Potter oversees strategic initiatives for the district. So we have this interesting kind of culvert. He showed us where a new pedestrian bridge will be built in partnership with the City of Pueblo connecting the library to Belmont Park. Really creating a great symbiotic relationship between the library and the park that it's adjacent to. Some safety improvements planned for this remodel are already in place, not just here at Barkman, but at all Pueblo libraries. For example, surveillance cameras now monitor foot traffic coming and going from the restrooms, while vapor sensors inside the facilities can alert security if someone is smoking or using drugs. And since we've done that, it's added a huge deterrent from those bad actors in our facilities and has dramatically decreased um, the amount of, of anybody coming in here kind of being a bad actor in our facility. The new bookshelves will also be lower, helping library staff to quickly spot any trouble. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks. That construction, by the way, that work is scheduled to wrap up by next June.